All right, so Zora's banner is out, but I do want to basically break down his kit beforehand, and uh, I don't know. Since we didn't get his kit before uh, the actual uh, update, I thought, why not just make a separate video for Zora's kit, and then we'll do summons, and then we'll do the showcase all within the span of like a good 5-6 hours. Now, it's a bit funny just seeing this banner as the only banner. You don't really see this too often in uh, Black Clover, because obviously banners come out as two. But uh, yeah, we'll just uh, see how everything is. And hopefully, hopefully it's good stuff. Now that intro is fire, bro. Oh my God. I do want to say I haven't seen anything. All right. I translated the kit. Well, by translated, I mean, I put it in Google Translate and I haven't looked at it. So we're going to just see what he does. All right. So let's see his speed, first of all. All right. So 103. And he stays at 103. Okay. Interesting. All right, all right. So he's got... Okay, so he's an attack DPS. No way, bro. That kind of sucks for me. I'm going to have to build him with magic attack. I just don't have an attack DPS. So he gets... Wow. 63% crit damage on his dupes. Attack, defense, and crit res. Okay, pretty good dupes. So now let's start reading his kit. Skill 1. So what the fuck hold on wait what is that okay wait wait let, let, let's let's read let's read give yourself increase seven special points buff what what <laughs> okay how bad is this ultimate okay damn that's insane attack after applying the 20 percent increased damage buff i mean that is pretty good so seven sp and pretty high base multiplier of 140%. 140% on a single target is quite high. Just looking at other units, I think. Like, okay, 140. All right, never mind. I guess I'm lying. I mean, let's see a DPS. Like, what? what's a normal DPS, like, uh, amount? So if we go to, I don't know, Spirit Dive, what's his amount? Yeah, okay, 140%. I guess it's uh, pretty much average. All right, never mind. So skill two, it is a single target. Okay, 180% damage. And let's see. So, grants protection effect to self for two turns. Now, this is going to be pretty good. We have to consider. Noel is single target. Yuno's ult is single target, and that's mainly the ultimate and thing he uses to attack. Black Asta has AoE, though. So, to be fair, there is that. Um, and he does also put a 30% damage increase buff. Wow, okay. So, we're now two for two. Okay, I just got to say, this intro looks amazing. It actually looks amazing. So, the skill one gives him, oh, it's type advantage damage increase. What? Oh, wait, no, that's a lot worse. That's a lot worse. Because that means he's only going to be doing this, like, extra damage to um, Gray and Noel. Because remember, Finderal's not in the game, which is a bit funny. But Gray and Noel are the only people he's doing increased damage to. Which I don't really know how I feel about that, but not too good. All right. Um, remember, he's type disadvantage against everyone else, so he needs to be like extra good to like kind of work. And doing more damage to the people you're type advantage against when you're type disadvantage to ninety percent of the game just isn't it. Now then, ooh, wait, hold on, that looked interesting. Two hundred sixty-five percent multiplier. Okay, I do want to check Kiato. Kiato, what's Kiato looking like? Um, Kyoto is at 80, 245. Okay, so that means this is the strongest single target ultimate in the game in terms of the DPSs. Black Ostas is at 300%, but this is 265. Okay, that's nice. Um, I'm thinking, anyone else? Magnus is not as high because he has the increased damage. Uh, it's 245. Yeah, yeah, okay, this is the highest one. So, obtain an extra turn upon defeating an enemy. Attack after applying 50% increased damage to your self enhancement effect. Now, is that 50% type advantage? It's type advantage. Okay. Now, there is a way we could see this. He's going to obliterate Noel. He is going to obliterate Noel. Wow. Okay. Actually, I'm not... I'm pretty happy with this so far. Like, we got to consider. If this guy is meant to only obliterate Noel, we're looking good. Now, Noel is pretty tanky. Because obviously she's um, a light unit, but sorry, a defender, but she's light, which means he's doing 20% extra damage, extra, extra crit rate. So, and 50% extra damage to, oh, okay. Yeah. So basically this unit was meant to destroy Noel. 
Interesting. And this protection. Yeah, okay. So in RTA, he's going to be good with Noel and against Noel. That's interesting. Okay, okay, okay. So we'd love to see it. Now then, counter buff. Really? That's interesting. So give a counter to you and your partner. Huh. That's a really interesting combo, but I'm not going to use that ever. Realistically speaking, right? I mean, the thing is, right, what we have to consider is that we don't know what units are coming. And this, I feel like, is a setup for another unit. So I don't know. Maybe Vanessa is going to have counter, the uh, secret agent Vanessa. Or maybe Finral is going to have counter, which doesn't really fit for him, but maybe. You never know. Okay. So we'll have to see. Now that goes over his base kit. Now this is the exciting part. At the start of the battle, if the magicians of the ally camp are configured with different attributes, give yourself taunt block and invincibility for one turn. Holy shit. Okay. Now let me see in the exact wording, because how do they mention the different typings? If at the start of battle, attributes of allies, including yourself, if they are different. So what I think is having, uh, sorry, you can't see it, is if each attribute is different. Okay, we're going to have to see in game. I, I mean, we could test it out uh, right away after the showcase, but to me, that seems pretty good. Now, when attacking, attack by 20% for each surviving enemy. So you get 20% increased damage uh, per each surviving enemy. Oh. And for each ally, oh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you get 20% increased damage for each surviving enemy and 40% damage for each dead ally. Let me translate this real quick. All right, let's see how this works. So when attacking, attack giving yourself a buff that increases the amount of damage dealt by 20% for each surviving enemy. Holy shit. This guy's going to be strong as hell. 80% damage increase alongside his 50% extra type advantage damage. When attacking, give yourself a 20%. Okay. When attacking, give yourself a probably 40%. What? Oh, damage dealt increased by 40%. Okay. Hold on. I'm trying to understand. So 20% is for the top, 40% is for the bottom. So you get 40% increased for each ally, for each defeated. Um, let's retranslate that. So you get 40% increased damage. Yeah. For each ally defeated, 40% increased damage. This Zora is going to be doing insane damage. This damage is really good. Like, really good. Okay, when we consider just off, like, rip. He is going to for sure take damage from people who are, uh, well, the same. Uh, sorry, from, like, uh, RGB. But for, to Noel, this guy is going to dish out so much damage. Now, the thing is, he is a pretty well-built DPS because he also has invincibility first turn. But then what you are able to do, to my understanding, also taunt block. You block taunt first turn. So what this is going to allow you to do is get pretty much a guaranteed kill with this. And then use your skill to get protection. Boom. I can't wait to use Zora. Um, I really think he'll be good. And he works with RGB, which is nice. So basically, you want to use, like, you can use one dark, one light. Um, and then like, I don't know, uh, a red and a blue, like it doesn't really matter for that. Uh, but this means a lot of team options are possible. Him and gray are going to go crazy together. Um, I'm really excited to see how this is going to look and I'm about to do my summon. So I'll see you guys very soon for that. But yeah, thank you for watching this video. I think, uh, Zor is actually going to be an amazing Noel counter while still being able to hold his own against the rest because of protection. The protection is what saves him. Two turn protection too is insane considering he gets a lot of turns. Because like what? You alt, then you skill two, then you skill one, then you alt, then you get to skill two again right away. Because, well, I mean, sorry. Turn one, you alt skill two. Turn two, you skill one. Turn three, you alt skill uh, skill one, I guess. And then turn four, you skill two. Or I don't know. We'll see. But you could, you could spam your alt every like two turns. That's insane. That is really, really good. We'll have to see. Because what, what's the three? Okay. Yeah. Anyway, we'll see more in game, but uh, I think he'll be really good.